exercise some mobility for you, anyone that does a lot of heavy cardio, but this is very hip focused. So you're gonna take your legs to 90-90, make your feet nice and strong, and then we're just gonna start with some hip switches. So arms lift, chest is up, arms are strong. You're gonna switch from one side to the other, allowing the whole body to rotate. Things you may notice, your feet may lift off the floor, especially if you're new to this. It may be hard for you to stay strong and lifted in your upper body. With practice, you get better and better. Tons of hip immobility with runners, <laughs> an area we don't tend to pay attention to. So I want you to do about four to five of these switches each way, trying to keep the feet on the ground and the legs strongly at 90-90. Then you're gonna hang out on one side. You're gonna come into butterfly and you're gonna lift your back leg. It's harder than it looks, okay? So just lifting and putting it down, keeping the foot flexed lifting the knee off. Don't just lift the foot. I want you to use your hip to lift your leg. So think about the hip. Do from four to eight on one side. Relax your face. It's very easy to use the leg from the knee down to do this, and I don't want you to. I want you to use your hip. You're gonna feel them burn. It's a good thing. And then switching. Oh! the other side. You'll notice one side has an easier time. That's totally normal. So come down nice and strong, shoulders down and back. Lift the leg. I try to keep my shoulders and my torso square. And then again, just thinking about my hip doing the job of lifting. So my foot is really flexed and strong. I want to keep everything nice and lined up, but as still as you can to isolate and work your hips. <sighs> Having flexible, open, awake hips Helps you running like crazy. Hamstrings, of course, are important. Core strength is important. Being able to keep your torso lifted and strong and upright is important, but hips are huge, man. So again, doing four to eight of these single 90-90 lifts on each side. Woo, feeling that. You, of course, can do more, or you can go through the series twice. Okay, next move, we're staying in this position and what you're going to do is you're going to take a big breath and you're going to come to butterfly so i'm going to bring my back leg to butterfly same leg back to 90 90. can you stay lifted four on each side so coming forward just kind of gentle with the hips really big breaths with the mobility you guys keep some strength between your shoulder blades Feel how much control this takes, yeah? And then once you've done four to eight on one side, oh, buddy, going the other way. Gotta adjust myself here. And again, one side is gonna have an easier time. So moving just as smoothly as you can. From butterfly, right back to the center. It actually feels really, really good. You can feel frustrated when you do mobility or things are really challenging. Like anything else, the more you do it, the better it gets. Okay, ready? This one's pretty, uh, there's a lot going on with this movement. So you're gonna go from 90-90. You're going to turn, lift up as best you can on your lead leg, come through, nice long low stretch, come back, come down, and switch. So we're switching sides, we're lifting up, Stepping through, sorry if I go out of the frame. Coming down, when you come down, I'll show you on the other side, and then coming back to where we were. When you come down into that nice big hip flexor, I want you to actually take your knee in front of your toes. So right here, come all the way forward. Nice big shin movement there, yes. Sorry, I can't talk and do this at the same time, yes. Stay lifted, stay tall. So 90-90, lifting up strong through your hips. Coming forward, you can even make this a little bigger if you like. Getting in there, man. Again, four to five on each side. And then what I like to do once I've been through all the moves, so these are all our moves right here, is I go back to 
whatever I had that made me give me some trouble and I'll repeat that a couple of times but hopefully you're gonna feel some really beautiful openness in your hips from that enjoy that mobility flow run as 